BJ, what that feel like? We're running down the field after uh, just kind of get the tee a little bit. Yeah, it felt good, man. Uh, it was just right there, so I just grabbed it, you know, ran down the field, celebrated with the teammates. It was an amazing feeling. So, what made you want to tumble into the end zone? You kind of kind of <laughs> threw your head down and just rolled through the end zone. Yeah, I tried to get a higher flip, but <laughs> I couldn't get up there. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it felt great. It was an amazing feeling. So, yeah. PJ, just what do you what do you notice with this the defense? It just there was that stretch there where you guys go from. <laughs> Uh, pick six to where it's called back, and a couple plays later they're able to turn that fourth down into a long touchdown, a couple missed tackles in there, um, and then it just kind of avalanche from there where there's the fumble on the kick the kick return and um, scoring pretty quickly there. So what do you notice in that stretch right there for the team that you think needs to be fixed uh, in, in the future? Yeah, uh, I mean, Coach said it. You know, it's, it's times where we look really good. It's times where we look like, what are we doing out here? Um, I just feel like we really just have to stay focused through the, throughout the whole game and uh, stay locked in. Uh, we got to execute each each and every call that uh, the coach gives us. Um, but we didn't do that in the fourth quarter. We didn't do that in the second half of the game. Um, and that's just things that we're going to get fixed going into Linda Woods. So. You executed extremely well in the first half, just seven points on the board for Ball State. Wyatt mentioned offense was only on the field for eight minutes. Uh, which means you guys were out there the rest of the time. What's harder, is it the physical side of it being out there for almost the entire first half, or is it the mental part where you're just like, you know, we just just, just got to get a stop and get off the field? Or something like that? Um, I wouldn't say it's it's hard per se. I mean, regardless of what happens, we got to hold it up, you know, because if, if it was flipped and we're off the field, offense is going to have to go score. So regardless of what happens, we got to hold it up throughout the whole game. So. I just feel like it is what it is. It's football, you know. We gotta come out. We gotta tackle better. We gotta uh, play within the calls a little bit better. So, yeah. Lance, are you always that wide open when running down the road? <laughs> uh, I like to think so. Larry, I like to think I'm always open. But no, that was that was just a great call. Um, set it up a couple plays before, and then as soon as I passed the linebackers and saw nobody was there, I, I knew it was gonna be good. Uh, Except whenever I was running, I mean, I'm just thinking, tuck the ball, someone's going to catch me, because usually those safeties and corners are a little faster than I am, but made it. So. And just uh, the offense started to pick it up there in the second half. Just what you noticed from one half to the next, where you guys were able to find a little bit of a groove? Um, yeah, I mean, that's all it is, just getting in a groove, like being able to chip away. I think just, you know, um, on our good drives, you know, it's just like five yard play, five yard play, and then a big play, and then like, three yards run and then ten yard run and just slowly start getting in a groove. And uh, in the first half, yeah, we just never could. I mean, we started off with a huge player out of the gate and then get stopped. They, I think, you know, he mentioned it, that they had a good game plan. I think they came in um, with some calls that, that caught us off guard sometimes and, you know, just brought the perfect play against our play and shut us down early and then you know, the longer you're, like you said, we were hardly on the field, so it's even harder to get in a groove, and it just, like, keeps stacking, like, gets harder and harder to, like, get going, because you're hardly even out there. So, finally, in the second half, we were able to start rolling, and then we were just able to play. Both of you guys talked about being at home for the home opener, but also playing uh, Linden, which, which is not FBS, and it's not ranked top three in the country. Yeah, um, I think Coach said it best. You know, we're an two football team, so... Um, I just feel like we got to come in here and just, regardless of who we're playing, we, we need a win. So um, we're going to come in Tuesday, practice hard. Um, it's going to be great to play in front of our fans, like Coach Beer said, um, in front of our families. And hopefully we have you know that, that home support that's going to get us a win. So, yeah. yeah. Can, can you reach back into things that happened in that game, the, the two previous games, to give you a little bit of confidence? You know, this went well. We did that well. We learned from this. Yeah, um, we can we can definitely build on the, the positive things um, that we did in both of those games, you know, because you look at those games and you're like, who was the better, who was really the better team on the field? You know, um, obviously they won, but uh, we dominated most of those games. So we can just build on the positive things and, you know, fix the negative uh, in the film room, you know, on practice field. So, yeah. yeah, and I feel like that's what's hard about the two losses, too, is like, walking away from it, we still feel like we were the better team. But like you said, I mean, you are what you put on tape. And 
you know, we're on too. So yeah, I mean, we're attacking this game, you know, even more so maybe than a normal game. Because I mean, we're on too. We're still chasing that first win. So. With the injuries on the offensive line the last two weeks, Lance, did that change your responsibility? Or did you feel any added pressure that maybe you could stay in a little bit longer, walk a little, walk um, a little bit longer, considering the, the different faces that were rolling in and out on the offensive line? Yeah, I mean, we didn't necessarily change like any type of game plan. I feel like whoever, like the people that they brought in, stepped into their role. Um, obviously, we have a lot of guys that are playing through a lot of stuff right now, and it's it's going to take a toll. Um, but I feel like the guys that stepped in, you know, did their job for the most part and are doing the best they can. So.